How to deploy Apache Web Server in a Podman container for the Red Hat-like system with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to deploy a web server Apache HTTPD in a Podman container for Red Hat-like Linux system. The full process requires four steps that you could automate with different Ansible modules. Firstly, you need to install or at least verify that Podman and its dependency are successfully installed on the target system using the ansible.builtin.yam Ansible module that is going to use the yam, the packet manager of your distribution for setting up everything. Secondly, you need to create a custom index.html with ansible.builtin.copy module. You could upgrade this step using the template module so you can have a more customized result. Thirdly, you need to pull the image from the container hub registry using the containers.podman.podman underscore image Ansible module. And finally, you could run the web server container setting the right port connecting the volume with a custom index.html page and everything using containers.podman.podman underscore container and symbol module. Oh, one small note, container need to be run in a detached mode, which means even the, if the user will disconnect the container keep going. Demo time. I'm going to show you how to deploy Apache web server in a Podman container for Red Hat-like Linux system with Ansible playbook. This is a great, really great security things because if you think you can run all your software regarding the web server in a container so you can change only the web pages and the content that are completely disconnected from the execution environment so running everything in a container has the advantage that all the library are stored inside the container and this is a great security feature let's move on in our demo How to start uh, running container? First of all, we need uh, to find out uh, what is the best image for our use case. And there are some uh, registry that are a place where images are stored. Think about like uh, an ISO for uh, the traditional world. So basically you are able to search for whatever content you need. In my case, HTTPD and get a lot of possible options. So this is Docker Hub that is probably one of the biggest, but there are also other options like Quay, uh, over that uh, and other container. But Docker Hub is one of the most well known. As you can see, this image was downloaded by one billion time. And this is the command line for Docker but it worked well with uh, docker podman as well and each image has a lot of different uh, version that are called tags that you can use in your environment and there are a lot of supported architecture and a lot of information as you can see there is a easy copy and paste command and different variant this for the, sc the scope of this uh, demo, I'm going to use the tag latest 
that certify the download of the latest available version that was published one day ago. So can you imagine how fast is this software world nowadays? It's incredible. So let's jump to our Ansible playbook to deploy this Apache HTTPD server. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one playbook to deploy Apache container. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with three dash and one name for our play deploy HTTPD container that is going to be executed again host all of my inventory. I need a root privilege so I set become to true and let me disable gather facts because I don't need the system information. Uh, let me define one variable web root. This is the path on the file system where your web app or all web content reside slash web root. Let's begin with first task is to verify that Podman is successfully installed on the target mesh system uh, using Ansible dot uh, built in. Yes, uh, built in. Yes, type it correctly. Uh, dot yaml name of a package Podman and state must be latest. So we want the latest version of Podman, didn't we? Second thing is to pull the image using containers dot uh, podman dot uh, podman uh, e underscore image three parameter first is the name of the image so http d we need a pool operation so let me use a pool to true and uh, the tag that we want uh, is latest you can specify whatever tag you want. Let me create directory so web root present using ansible.builtin.file. The path is the value of my built-in of my web root directory. The state of the file system is directory. Let me specify also the owner of the directory, uh, in my case root, and the group ownership is again root. It is not www-data because we don't have Apache running in this system. The mode is 0755, so only current user can read and write and C Linux type is uh, container underscore share T. This is the type uh, in some system is container underscore T so be careful. Let me customize index.html using ansible.builtin.copy this is the simplest way for uh, creating a text file with Ansible and uh, the destination is the web root slash index.html Let me also add uh, some content. The easy way is using a pipe and uh, explicitly add uh, the code here. I'm just texting only a simple message. You can upgrade to template module. And finally, we can run our container. So run httpd container using containers dot podman dot podman underscore container. This is the equivalent of Docker. So let's give a name to our container web server that image to run HTTPD, the one that we fetched before, 
state must be started and we want also to run in the touch mode so even if we disconnect the shell the container still run mm, we need to expose port 80 of the container and let's map to ports uh, uh, 8080 colon 80 so which means that we expose port 8080 to the external world and we connect to port 80 on the system uh, let's connect also the volume so web root the local folder is mapped as usr slash usr slash local slash apache 2 slash 8 docs this is the directory where to store the file then w colon exec this is another parameter that could be useful you can also specify if you want to avoid uh, CLinux but it's always a good idea to share this stuff so as you can see in less than 50 line of code I'm able to verify that Podman is installed to pull an image from a registry create a directory customize the index HTML and run a container Welcome to the terminal of the Ansible controller. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine. So DevOps at demo example.com. This is a standard machine. Let me cut the ATC OS release so you can see that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5 Podman images and Podman PS has uh, no result uh, and by real Podman is not installed so DNF info let's verify that uh, this machine didn't know what Podman is so quickly is refreshing the software collection base OS and uh, the stream and it's going to show you that there is an available package called Podman but it's not running in the current system yes, here it is so let's execute our playbook ready to do the magic with Ansible? so first of all let's execute the playbook with Ansible-playbook let me specify also the inventory file with dashi and my code is stored under container podman underscore httpd red hat 2 here we go the execution is going to take a while because there are a lot of files to download first of all to download the required podman with all the dependency and then also the image is going to take a while I speed up a little bit this video so we can enjoy the result and not waste our time waiting a progress bar. So the performance depends by the performance of your network connection as well as your virtual machine. So now we have a change of status on the Podman installer which means all the packages are successfully downloaded and uh, configured then uh, Ansible is moving to the pool image in this step is going to connect to the registry download all the requirement file create also the web root directory the custom index HTML and finally able to run the httpd container yay this is a great success wow unbelievable and what happened if we execute again the same command well most of these modules are hidden potent so they verify that uh, the result is already there so the installation of podman the pulling of the image the web route is available and uh, everything is already configured we have only two changes status because uh, these modules are not uh, completely either potent but here it is our HTTP D server is running so good job Ansible let's check it out with a browser 
back on my browser I can finally load the demo example com port 8080 note and we can see our custom web page isn't fantastic I think so so you can separate completely the running software the web server that is quite delicate and you need to maintain up to date with the file to ship this is fantastic now you know how to deploy apache http web server in a podman container for red hat like linux system with ansible thank you for watching if this video was useful for you give me a thumbs up write me a comment and in general keep in touch with me see us on the next it adventure of ansible pilot and have a great day this video is part of our ansible automation program sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.